Guys, I'm very concerned. The SA Rugby Dads are getting a little bit out of control. And I've started to notice this from about two months ago when schoolboy rugby returned in South Africa. And the Rugby Dads have literally become obsessed, even more obsessed than they are with the Springboks. And they know every single player in every single team. They know every single coach. They not only know every single name of every single player, but they also know their shoe size, their height, their weight, their favorite color, their blood type, literally everything. And a part of me understands. I mean, schoolboy rugby has been away for like two years, uh, which I'm sure their wives have been very happy about. But for the rugby dads, this has been an absolute nightmare. You see, on a Saturday morning, uh, SA Rugby Dad has something to scream at. And it's, it's their opportunity to let out all their frustrations that they get from the week. All the usual South African frustrations like load shedding, traffic, uh, corruption, the pro tiers, things like that. So they've been without this for two years. And I can partially understand why this is happening. They're even taking it worse than the schoolboy rugby players have been taking uh, this COVID lockdown situation. Now, a lot of people are speaking about rugby dads running onto the field and, you know, getting involved in pushing and shoving with players and coaches. And obviously, this is really bad. But let's also be honest, this isn't that uncommon. I mean, I've seen this happen many times. Obviously, it's not okay, but I've seen this happen at a Springbok rugby game. So it's not like this is something new to us. Um, either way, clearly something is making our rugby dads extremely angry at these rugby games. I don't know if there's a sausage roll thief going around irking them. I don't know. But I think education is important. We need to educate um, our South African rugby dads. For example, it's not very wise to, to drink Brunavane and Coke at 9.30 in the morning on, on the side of a schoolboy rugby field. That will most likely cause many problems. Um, and I think that SA rugby dads need to start going to therapy sessions. We, we should maybe start some group therapy sessions across the country where rugby dads can come together and talk about their problems, uh, their frustrations, either that or a fight club, but I'd rather go for the first option. Um, either way, Rugby dads, this isn't the spring box. Let's take it easy um, and let's just enjoy the rugby.